categorizing salts. This is a student activity. So a little bit of notes here. Salts, as long as they are soluble, which is mostly what we are using in here, um, they always associate 100%. They can change the pH of water if the cation and anion is a conjugate acid or conjugate base of a weak acid, weak base. These are all good conductors because they are salts even though all of them are weak if acidic or basic. So step one is to break it into your cation anions. So here's my example, ammonium chloride. I break it into the cation and the anion. Step one. Then step two, I've got to cross out any pH spectators. You are expected to memorize this list. So here's my list of my cations. Here's my list of my anions, all right? I like the general rule here, metal ions, especially from groups one and two on the periodic table are usually pretty pH neutral. There's some advanced reactions that we have to consider sometimes, but don't stress about those. So I look to see that chlorine is on my list, so I'm gonna cross this one out, all right? NH4 is not on the list. If the cation is remaining, Not cross out is an acidic salt. You have what we call a conjugate acid. If the anion is remaining, it's a basic salt. You have a conjugate base. And if they're both cross out, it's a neutral salt. All right? So since the cation remains in this, then this is an acidic salt. Then you need to write the equation. We're only interested in the part that is actually engaging in the reaction. So spectator ions are not in this. So since NH4 is a conjugate acid, it will act like an acid, which means it produces H+. And that's why you got to know what you're working with. Okay, so NH4 produces NH3 and the H+. Plus or I can write it H3O plus, okay? The H plea controls the pH, which makes it an acid. All right, so um, here's some examples, and I have Na and O3. If you look on the list, they're both, um, both knocked out. So they're both spectators, so it's gonna be neutral. There's no equation, and there's no conjugate pair. KF, K is marked out when I go back to, remember I'm gonna go back to this list over here, okay? So there's K right there. I mark out K, F remains, because it wasn't on the list, because the anon remains, it's a conjugate base, all right? So my conjugate, Pair is HF. So F plus H2O produces HF plus OH. All right, this one here, don't let this scare you because it looks like an organic. My NA is marked out because it's on that list. Remember this one back over here. There's my NA. But CH3, COO remains. Since that's an anon, that tells us we have something that's basic. So here it is, plus H2O yields OH minus. CH3, NH3, Cl. I cross off the Cl because on that list. Therefore, since I have a cation remaining, it's acidic. So here I go, plus H2O produces one less H here, plus H3O plus. The conjugate base pair is CH3 and H2. So then you were supposed to practice it, and there's my reveal of my answers for you. You're welcome to check that.